Matt, I think uh, you have a very interesting story about malvertising based on fake agencies. There's a company called Confiant, mm -hmm. and they produced a report about a group that they're calling Zirconium. And Zirconium is responsible for creating a number of fake ad agencies online by pretending to be legitimate ad agencies, getting themselves, you know, their content injected into these sites for, you know, ad purposes, and then changing it to become malware, which is really kind of scary. And they really did a heck of a job in, in making these companies look legitimate. They created 28 fake ad agencies, and each of them apparently had completely separate infrastructure. Okay. You would never think by looking at the, the IP addresses of the domains involved uh -huh. that these companies had anything to do with each other. So basically they're using these uh, fake ad agencies to redirect the traffic to wherever they want to send it, right? Right, so the, okay. they would create this company as a legitimate ad company and assume for a while it okay. would operate as a normal ad company, but then they would start pushing these ads as well and they were creating them on the rate of like one to three a month. Mm -hmm. That involves creating fake LinkedIn profiles for fake CEOs for these companies and creating blog posts for those CEOs to make them look like real companies. Wow. They had Twitter bots that also promoted these companies to try and get more business because you know you need to draw people in mm -hmm. in order to get your ads placed on people's websites. So they went great lengths to look like it's a legitimate company. Absolutely, you know. yeah. Okay. To me, this is at the very least, very well-organized crime. Yeah. But I don't know if they've actually named the individuals behind this yet, mm -hmm. but they've at least released the fact that they exist. This actually brings up a couple of issues. The first is that this is taking advantage of an entire ecosystem that's kind of behind this, right? You've got you know, content providers, which roll up to content aggregators, which roll up to ad firms, which then end up on sites. And at any kind of point inside of that ecosystem, you can have malicious ads get injected and they may or may not be caught before they end up getting where they need to go. I read a study uh, here this past month where about, I think, a third of the predominant um, sites on the internet are actually taking steps to block ad blockers and then taking steps to circumvent that and serve up ads in a way that will not trigger the ad blockers. If it were up to me, <laughs> ads wouldn't require anything more than an image or plain text. Like if there was a way to enforce that, this is the part of the site that has the ads, mm -hmm. it shall not have any JavaScript, it shall not have any other code inside of it. From a consumer perspective, I don't need ads with, with crazy animations, I don't need them to be interactive. I yes. just, you know, if they're gonna be on the website, minimize what they can actually do, put them in their own, mm -hmm. let's call it a, a sandbox and yeah. lock them down, that could prevent a lot of this stuff as well. I mean, ads don't need to be code. This is the most advanced malicious ad campaign I've ever seen. Yeah. And this is probably the, the setting the bar for how this is going to go in the future. Mm -hmm. I would expect other organizations, other criminal organizations to run things in a similar way because yeah. now the blueprint's been provided as mm -hmm. well. If you've got an organization out there who's as you know dedicated to pushing malware to you as these guys are, the ads are the way they're going to get in. And uh, a user doesn't want to be an unwitting partner, you know, in these uh, sure. schemes, you know. Absolutely. So the real dangers of this is that people who are legitimate players in the ad space no longer really know who to trust. And it's really kind of worrying because if people are willing to go to these kinds of lengths to disguise malicious activity, it becomes very difficult for anyone who wants to engage in ad selling to to, to know who they're dealing with. It's really to be you know, a little bit uh, you know, vigilant and pay attention to what actually we are seeing in the browser. Try to use some sort of ad blocking software. Little diligence will help a lot for the users.